Ladies and gentlemen, my name's Paul. Hopefully you're having an amazing day. The Zen 4 microprocessor architecture has had its mass production kicked off this month, which is already leading to some very interesting discoveries. Zen 4 will power such architectures, of course, as the Ryzen 7000 series, and these processors will debut later this year. And we already have a very interesting benchmark, which has been discovered by Bench Leaks on Twitter. I'll, of course, leave a link to their account in the video description along with the WCCF article because they were the ones who first let me know that this was a thing. So computer 925206. It's got an interesting ring to it, doesn't it? You can see that the CPU type has been identified as authentic AMD, AMD Eng sample, which of course means engineering. 100, lots of zeros, 51403N, family 25, model 97, stepping 1. And the number of processor cores has been identified as 16, which basically means it's an 8-core processor with 16 threads because of SMT. BenchLeaks has had a pretty good track record previously, and they actually believe that it's very likely that this is uh, B1 stepping that we're seeing here of Raphael. Raphael, of course, means the Ryzen 7000 series, which naturally, as everyone knows at this point, will be on the AM5 platform. There's not a huge amount to say here that we don't already know. Um, the GPU that was being tested, and that's not too exciting. Unfortunately, it's nothing RDNA 3 here. In fact, it's just an RTX 3060 Ti. But it's possible that this wasn't not even conducted inside of AMD. It could be one of their partners. Furthermore, it just re reinforces, excuse me, the fact that we're looking at one megabyte of L2 cache. And well, yeah, outside of that, there's nothing too hinky here. The performance results are nothing really that we can compare against other architectures because ultimately there could be so many different things with the configuration. We don't know, for example, the clock frequency that this is being run at, but it is still a very good indicator that Zen 4 is definitely on track. Speaking of Zen 4, something that I've personally been hearing, um, this is just a small update that I'm going to throw in this video. I've been hearing that the V-cache, quote-unquote, versions of Ryzen 7000 will not be part of the launch lineup, and they will come later. I've had quite a lot of mixed uh, messaging about that from my sources. One source told me that it was the 170-watt variants, which were 16 cores, and they basically would be launching alongside the other 16-core versions. So basically, you kind of had your pick. But I'm now starting to believe that this is just not the case. AMD are going to essentially have kind of like a, a mid-generation refresh. It's not quite like that, but you kind of get my what I'm saying. And basically, those will be the Vcash variants, and they will come later on. So we will get the non-Vcash chips first on AM5, and then a little bit later on, whatever time period AMD chooses, we will then see the Vcash chips. And now we're going to hop, skip, and jump down the road to GPU land. It's a fun place. There's lots of cool things there. There's lots of attractions. We've got ray tracing um, on the right. On the left, we've got upsampling. It's pretty cool. But being serious for a moment, Cupity7 Kimmy, who has had a really good track record with all things NVIDIA, has said that the RTX 4090 will almost certainly be using 24 GPPS memory. There has been a lot of confusion regarding the memory clock frequency that uh, Lovelace will be utilizing, but according to this anyway, no, we will actually be seeing that. Furthermore, AD102, which of course is the uh, GPU core, which is going to be powering the higher-end Lovelace cards, has actually started testing. Furthermore, um, we also have Grayman, and one of his tweets, well, actually a couple of uh, tweets, were mentioning that both RDNA 3 as well as Lovelace have started now testing. And additionally, we should be seeing things get quite interesting around September period. This is pretty much what I've been hearing for multiple months now, and I've mentioned it in several videos, particularly pertaining to Lovelace. I believe NVIDIA will be launching the higher-end Lovelace parts first. Pretty much, NVIDIA usually follows a very similar pattern when it comes to launching their GPUs. Uh, not every generation they've done this, but pretty typically. 
they will launch cards like, for example, the 2080, the 2080 Ti, the 3080. You guys get the idea. And then later on, they may release higher end GPUs. For example, we saw with Pascal, the GTX 1080. And then later on, of course, we saw the GTX 1080 Ti or Ti, depending on how you want to pronounce it. I think at this point, it's quite likely that uh, NVIDIA will just launch the highest end SKUs uh, first and I've been hearing personally some kind of mixed information regarding uh, AMD's GPUs I've heard from one source that it's possible it could be early Q1 that Narve 31 launches and it's going to be the mid-range kind of cards which launch instead around September October time but I've again been hearing quite a lot of uh mixed mixed messages around that and frankly I'm not so sure that's a thing because otherwise we wouldn't see Nvidia cranking the clock frequency and everything else regarding Ampere, uh, regarding Lovelace, excuse me, I was about to say Ampere. Either way, I'm really looking forward to seeing what these cards are actually capable of. I suspect that the next generation, if nothing else, is going to offer an awful lot of performance for those who are willing to pay for it, but for those even who have tighter budgets, I think it's going to make, you know, 4K gaming a lot more feasible for a lot more folks. With that said, though, hopefully you have enjoyed the video. It's a bit of a shorter one today, I know, but uh, working on a couple of projects and, uh, yeah, I'm trying to verify a few things with a couple of sources. So hopefully tomorrow there will be an exclusive. With that said, thanks very much for watching. Take care of yourselves. Have an amazing day. Bye for now.